Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Run Oven Break. So, considering that the new update with More Kiki came out, which I think I'm just gonna say that all the time whenever this new stuff comes out, there is also something new there added to Trophy Race if you are unfamiliar. Because whenever something gets new to add in an update, what am I trying to say? Whenever an update happens, they tend to add a new map, which this time, as you can see, you will see a yellow bubble down there at the four star thing, because you will see that is the new map, which happens to be the Serpent Temple, which I'm pretty sure this was a trophy race map for. At least I'm pretty sure some variant of it was. But this could be just the Serpent Temple that's coming from the main story, and if that's the case, maybe it was a map, maybe it wasn't, I don't remember. But how we usually do these videos is I run on these levels twice, usually on my minimum difficulty and my max difficulty. And uh, let me just quickly explain what that means. So as you can see, these are represented with uh, stars. So you can, see, you can see a four star above it, but you can change the difficulty all the way down to one star, all the way up to five stars. Now, even though I don't have five stars unlocked, I'm still gonna run in four star and one star. And let me explain what all the difficulties mean in order. So one star, this is just totally vanilla. Nothing's changed, nothing's different. It's just the normal base level that you can run with. I was gonna say run with, but I meant to say run in. The pub's wrong with me. Anyway, two star is the same exact level, except there's a 10% speed increase. So that means that you'll need a little bit more of a quicker reaction time to dodge obstacles, dodge pits, and get your jellies. Now, three star, this is where it already gets interesting because we have crazy mode introduced to us. Now, you may be wondering, what the heck is crazy mode? Well, crazy mode is basically, it takes the same exact level. However, it changes some things to it. Like, for example, it adds new enemies. It adds new pitfalls so it can make a harder time for you. It can even customize portions of the maps where that some portions that you thought were easier in the normal mode are now even harder in crazy mode. Oh, and also other jelly paths as well. So be careful of that. Then there's four star, which is a 20% speed increase along with crazy mode. So not only is the level even harder, but now you're gonna need even faster reaction speed to what you need to get. And last but certainly not least, there is a five star that I don't have unlocked. But basically, not only does this have crazy mode and a 20% speed increase, but these adds trophy race exclusive obstacles. For example, that one, I don't remember. Oh, I think I know what that one is. It's uh, It shows an eyeball with a magnifying glass. So I think that's a lack of vision. So what happens is that half Half of your screen is just coated in darkness so basically you're only seeing half the map you're seeing half of the levels like you're seeing half the level and half the obstacles that are being thrown at you so you really need to be careful with that one especially since it lasts like 10 seconds or something which 10 seconds may not seem like a lot but in trophy race all the time matters in the world for you to try and get first place and also the cookie copy now, I'm going to be running in 1 star and 4 star like I mentioned however I do want to mention something considering that there's an uh, it's a new level I can't generate a combi for this. I, I'm just kind of stumped. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to generate a combi for one of the Evo levels, and we'll see how far we can get. And also, with this being said, uh, actually, let me see this. Ah, oh, hydrogen and potato? You know what? I'll take it. Now, uh, actually, the app... Wait, can I upgrade the apple? By the way, that is a loud car driving by. I can't even upgrade the apple. I should probably upgrade that because it's very good. It's very close to being enhanced. But uh, anyway, I do want to mention that... Uh, what the plug was I going to mention? I, I completely forgot it. I'm such a fool. Uh, maybe I was talking about the map because, uh, you know, since the map got re uh, recently revealed and shown, there's not any generated comics because barely many people have ran it. And probably there's probably millions of people who actually ran the map. However, it needs to gather all that data. So with that being said, oh, I, know, I remember. I'm not going to do normal trophy race. This is just practice. Primarily because when I press play, it's going to randomly choose one of three maps. And I don't want a one in three chance to get the map. I just want to guaranteed play it. So let's get this done, and let's see how bad I can fail. So let's go ahead and get this started with a one-star basic Serpent Temple. I don't expect anything too crazy here, but I know I'm just going to be... That's something I should probably relish in, because the fact that, uh, since nothing too crazy... Crazy? I was going to say chaotic, which is crazy and chaotic, which that's how you know it's chaotic, because I'm just making up words at this point. But, uh... I just need to relish in this because I know nothing too crazy should happen, and I just, just I gotta savor the moment because I know later on I'm gonna have to run a 4 star, 20% speed increase crazy mode, and I'm probably going to vomit. So, uh, get your barf bags ready because I'm probably gonna need it. Though also you should get the barf rags, barf rags. Imagine bragging so much you just vomit. <laughs> I feel like that, honestly, could probably happen if you just brag too much. But get your barf bags ready for yourself because of how much I could fail in this. Who knows? I don't really give myself much of an ego because, you know, I don't like to have a big ego. Uh, ego. <laughs> ego. I don't like to have a big ego because, you know, I like just to be truthful with myself. And uh, a common tendency with me is I really just like to downplay the stuff that I do. Like, I'm not saying, like, I'm the worst at kicking around of a break. I'm just saying that there's times when I say, oh, I'm going to do good. And then the worst fail happens. And uh, it just sucks because I'm just like, you know, 
I guess, it, maybe it's the internet, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not trying to blame any of y'all. I'm just saying, like, it's the age of the internet where I feel like you kind of need to be perfect. You can't do one slip up or uh, the internet will chew you out. Honestly, I've been thinking about doing a series called, uh, it was actually something I wanted to do for a while that I'm not sure if people would be interested in because it would kind of be a different type of content that I feel like maybe I would do if uh, I had a little bit more of a following so I could see some people actually be interested in it. But it will be this small series called uh, The Hyping's Horoscope. And basically, it would just be me like talking to people, uh, you know, from pleb on camera to uh, people on the internet. And basically, I just talk about, uh, you know, the real topics, if that makes sense. Now, if you're wondering, no. I'm not going to talk a single thing about politics. Screw that. That is a fun killer. You want a way, you want one guaranteed way on how to ruin all fun? Talk politics. That that's how you ruin all fun altogether. If you're a politics person, I'm I'm sorry. We will. There's a high likelihood that we will not be friends. I don't think I've ever met one person who has both been into Kiki Run and is also into politics. So maybe the, maybe this uh, community is safe for me. But basically, it would just be like this little uh, internet show where uh, I swear I'm calling it a show, but it's just some videos where I'm either doing like one or two things. I'm either reading uh, comments about people's issues and then my I give my personal take on him, or I just talk about my personal experiences with like certain issues alone, like you know anxiety or depression or like love and stuff like that. And I know love may not seem like a serious topic, but trust me, to me it is. And th like it doesn't have to be depressing either. It could be like you know. Like I mentioned, like, you know, the gift of giving or like just holidays in general. I just talk about those topics and I just give my general opinion. And like I mentioned, no politics, nothing like that at all. But I don't know. Was something that kind of worries me with that is I feel like, you know, with me being like honest, because the thing is, I am a hyperactive person in my channel. That's like why I'm called Hyper Himes. Uh, but I'm also a pleb, which is why I have uh, the channel, your local pleb. And Hypenese Corporation, that's right now just a corpse. And I'm gonna one day, one of these days, I'm gonna be a Franken Plub and I'm gonna revive that thing and make some really chaotic content on that. Just you wait, it'll happen. Uh, oh, I got a little bit more energy, so my skill should activate. Yes, indeed. But uh, yeah, the reason why I'm kind of scared is because, like, yeah, I do like to be real, but I'm afraid I might say something that might rub people off the wrong way. But I just like to be honest. Like, for. Actually, I don't want to give any examples. I'll, I'll give examples of that once uh, I actually, if I do decide to make those types of videos. Because right now, I just want to have fun, like, recording video games and uh, watching people, like, show gratitude and love for it. Because, honestly, the amount of gratitude and love that I've seen for this content, along with other stuff, oh, should I, I don't think that was a good place to jump. I mean, luckily, I had that shield, so I'm fine. Oh, I really want to get that, though. Okay, okay, the bouncing bolt, not boulders, but, like, pillar things, they just shake. And you gotta jump over them. We're fine. Uh, but yeah, like, I'm hoping that the uh, channel grows more and more so I can do more things besides Kick Run so I can expand the audience even further. And that doesn't mean I'm just gonna, like, drop Kick Run all of a sudden. But if I ever do move on to just doing, like, other content in general, I feel like it would just be nice because, you know, more variety so I wouldn't have to struggle. I'm like, alright, what can I do for Oven Break today? What can I do in Kingdom? Are there any fan game content that I make? Can I do some goofy, uh, short or a goofy comic? Like, a com- a comment? Comic? Comic? Uh, either or like a comic or like some uh test post like a quiz post i mean and a community post and all that stuff because you got to remember i've been doing this for so long and like it's been, it may not be, seem like so long but i've been a youtuber for over a decade which is ironic because uh actually there's something i want to talk about but i'll talk about it in the next run just so i can have a little bit more time talking about it and i won't get cut off and uh, i feel like i could have my skill activate one more time maybe if i jumped onto that second pillar maybe i could have gotten it to work but that would be a very tight jump. I don't know. It does seem possible. But I got some ingredient bags out of that, though. So that's pretty good. But anywho. Oh, more tickets. Thank you very much. And yeah, that was only one star. We now have to do four star. No, 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 no. Do not do a short for that, that is the last thing I want to do right now. So that last clip that you just saw, that was like not even half a second ago. That was like five minutes ago for me. Because for some reason, when I recorded, it didn't, uh, what was, what, it did do the thing where like it didn't record any of the game audio. But luckily I caught it. So I stopped it. Then it made the game audio sound quiet. And then I had to restart my phone. Then the UI updated. So that was like 10 minutes to five minutes ago. Anyway, let's do four star anyway. You know, it happened so long ago, I completely forgot what I was going to say, because I was going to bring up a topic, but I completely forgot. This is already so much more faster, it's so much more terrifying, I hate it. Uh, I think it was in regards to the channel, uh, either Yo Local Pleb or stuff like that. Uh, what was I going to say about it? I'm mad because I know I knew what I was going to say, but now that I, that I had to deal with that phone stuff, 
Like, if I just immediately picked back where, like, I left off, I would have remembered. But, I don't know. Anyway, with that being said, uh, I still need to thank you. I need to thank each and every one of you, uh, for all the constant support lately. Like, genuinely, I- Whenever I check the channel, where it's just like, man, how many subscribers have we gone up? Because I don't usually check often, but I swear, whenever I check, it's, like, way more than I expect. Like, I recently checked, I was like, uh, we were at, like, 31.4k, I was like, uh, if I check again, we might be at, like, 31 point uh four five if that makes sense so we'd be at thirty one thousand four hundred and fifty i checked we were at thirty one thousand five hundred and i'm just been there like how fast is this going because i can't thank each and every one of you enough because like i do want to do a lot more content on the channel that like you know branches out to other audiences like uh it's kind of like how do i say this it's kind of like how i used to do my content except i would have more viewers for it uh, i got that shoe right as the skill activated i am so big brain on that like if you didn't know, uh, back before I did basically Kick Your Run on the daily, I did so much content daily that wasn't Kick Your Run that you had no idea. I was, like, doing Let's Plays left and right. I was doing one for Terraria. I was doing one for Minecraft. I was doing one for, like, Steven Universe Save the Light or Attack the Light, which I do want to do another Let's Play soon on Unleash the Light. There are a few other games that I do want to get through first, like, in, obviously, Amori, but also some other stuff, too. Like, I was interested in, like, doing, like, a Celeste Let's Play. And, I don't know, I would also like to play through, uh, you know, like... I don't know, there's, I think there's another Steven Universe, no, 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 I think there's a couple other games that I do want to play through, especially in the horror genre, but, like, I was doing, like, you know, those, I was playing, like, a horror game every single week, uh, like, it was a lot of Let's Plays, I think I was doing Shovel Knight, uh, I was, it was just straight up a lot of games, and, like, I, I had this schedule where I played this, like, I think even as a, what was it, I think it was still, like, a single upload a week, where, like, I didn't do double uploads at the time, but I did a game, like, each and every week, and I had this schedule, where, like, this day would be this game, like, let's say, like, this day would be, uh, Steven Universe. I think every Fridays or Saturdays was always when I posted a horror game. And I think, no, no, I think it was, like, a two-horror game thing, because, like, uh, fri like, maybe on the weekends I did horror, because on Saturday I did, like, a horror game Let's Play. Like, you know, a full-fledged horror game, like, something like Fran Bao, or, like, uh, anything along those lines. Like, I guess you could also consider a Mori horror game, stuff like that. And also... Uh, I was, I guess on Sunday, I was doing random horror games that I found on itch.io, which is actually interesting because technically I'm now doing that to some certain extent, especially since I did it more on, uh, you know, October this year, which I wish I did more, but uh, I actually do have another video that I still need to edit, which is uh, supposed to be a spooky game, but hopefully I can uh, upload that around sometime, maybe uh, sooner rather than later, I have no clue, but it's going to be a fun time. Because I do want to post more of that, because I feel like... The way how I edit those videos now are a little bit... Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen these birds around? I guarantee you, you haven't. These are new to Crazy Mode. Yeah, that's... If you want an example of how Crazy Mode changes the maps, I'll give you one example. Birds! <laughs> what was that? At least thank you for the gold ingredient. How, how fast do you expect me to react? Re okay. Follow the jelly path. But, like... Is, is, yeah, it's... it's what? Oh, okay. Well, it's kill time. <laughs> Back to happy performing. Oh, sheesh. Uh, I still gotta figure out what I wanna do for the next year local play video. I might have a few ideas, but like ever since I did uh, basically a month where I posted two year local play videos, I'm kinda like drained, especially with all the kick run stuff I gotta do now. Like also I figured out unfortunately Tower of, uh, what was it? Tower of Adventures, the new kick run game. It's not being released. It's, big, it's being tested for beta basically. And somehow I think I got a higher score. I'm surprised even though I got a lower ranking on hard mode. But, like, it's being released somewhere, somewhere in 2024. But, yeah. Crazy time all around. I need to, like, lie down after that. That was just too much to handle. I need more training at the end of that. If only there was, like, some way where, like, you can kind of, like, start up a trophy race right at the area where you need more practice in so you wouldn't have to go through the whole entire map over and over again. Uh, I know it'd be like, you know, oh, well, you'd be going there with more energy and stuff, so would that not make sense? Not, probably not, but, like, I think it would make more sense, if anything. But I have to end this video now, because, uh, man, my head hurts after this. If you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kick around content. Ooh. If you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe, and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. And also, down in the description below, you will see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can give the kick around YouTube stuff for absolutely free. You will see a link to my Discord server called the Hype Knees Hub, and you will see a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel. But above all else, I will see you, Entities and Guardians, in the next- wait, I just realized there's no music.
I can't believe I did that without me. Come on, what's, game, what's going on? Above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype knees.